Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a little package I received. <laughs> I ordered uh, this part here and she sent me a couple extra little things that I'll show you uh, also in this video. It's cutely wrapped. <laughs> we have a little... Well, I thought I got rid of most of the plastic, but... I ordered this box here. Oh, sorry, that is really loud. There we go. Oh, this is cute. It's a little little note here. And look at that pretty card. I'll let you look at the card <laughs> while I read this. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a little note. This is really cute. I have a coffee cup that matches this card. <laughs> I had to buy the coffee cup that went with this set. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try. I don't know how well I'll do on that. Oh, goody. Okay, this is a box of um, mini pictures. I'm gonna move these two out of the way for a second. Let me see, I gotta get the name right before I goof that up. <laughs> Don't want to goof it up. Um, oops, went in the wrong spot. Come on, computer gonna be slow today. Yep, this feels like me. I'm slow today too. Uh, da, da, da. Me. There we go, let's see. It's the mini box, a collection of 40 card size um, coloring pages for travel and small spaces, animals, nature, and adult colorings. Um, they're five and a half by seven and a half size. A lot of plastic wrap. Uh, I'm not good with plastic wrap. <laughs> My cat hates it too. There we go. All right, there we go. Put that over there. So here is the box. Comes in a nice hard box here. So I'm gonna take the cover off. Boom. Comes with a pretty, everything came in nice tissue, by the way. Oh, look on the inside of the box. We've got a little bunny. Oh, that is cute. Um, you can probably maybe see that. <laughs> I'll leave a link down below for them. I'm going to have to dump them out here so I don't have to dig through them. And there's a little bunny on that side, too. How cute. Okay, we'll move that away. And then we'll go through the pictures here. Hopefully that's not up too high. So they're on a nice heavier cardstock than, say, the books are done in, which is really nice. So we have this one here. Oh, a little spider. A little possum. This one is so cute. I saw Betty do hers on um, her channel. It's really adorable. Colored up. And we have the <laughs> little wolfy guy jumping over the moon. Birds in a birdhouse. I think there's another one under here. There we go. Ah, had it. <laughs> and our little, um, like our little water puppies here. I like these guys. They're fun to color. And we got tiny little fish in there too. We got a little dragon. Little bunny rabbits up here. Oh, cute. A little squirrel. Looks like he's uh, up to some mischief in a bird feeder. <laughs> the crab. Little bunny rabbit. Oh, got a couple of them here. Kitty cat. A little lizard guy and uh, little flowers up here. He'd be fun to color. Oh, this is her Christmas wreath. With their little guys tucked in. That would be pretty. Little orchids. 
some giraffe guys. Uh, I don't think there's another one under there. No. Chicken. <laughs> and we have a little bird up here, puppy dog staring at him. I like that picture a lot. A rooster to go with the chicken. Some plant life here. And the little puppy with the books behind him. He's got his little glasses on. I like that pitch a lot. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Got some lemurs. A caterpillar. Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> An elephant. Oh, a whale. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and the fishy. My head's going. I'm going to color it like this. <laughs> and we got some more fishies. Some more whales. I know there's a card under here. Elephants. Uh, red panda, maybe? Hmm, it's got the big long tail. Fluffy. And a big horned animal here. Mm, more like an elk than a moose, so I'd go elk. Or reindeer. Dragonflies. Ooh, the bee page. Cool. A kangaroo and a little roo. <laughs> and babes. Ooh, another sea dragon. I like these. And here we go. We've got, um, these are like little bugs. Another fuzzy bee. More dragonflies. This cutie pie. It's a bunch of bamboo. It's got a fluffy tail. <laughs> We've got to figure out that guy. And some seahorses, so those are pretty. So that's the set of mini cards. Get them all stacked back up and nice and neat. So I saw that and just had to have that set. <laughs> how you get. Okay, and then I'll show you what else she sent. This is the Creative Companion um, 2021. Somewhere around here. <laughs> I can get this off, maybe. <laughs> Where do you get them off at? A little piece there. Okay. Let's get some scissors. Okay. This one's a little smaller than the other ones. So we'll get out one of the other ears. There we go. This one is a 2020, and this is the 2021. So they're the same in height, they're just uh, shorter here by, oh, I don't know, that's about two inches, maybe an inch and a half. Makes it nice and portable. Over there. So we'll give a flip through of this. <laughs> she signed it over here. So we have our little wolfy guy here. Journal belongs to page. Explanation about the crea creative companion, the calendars. Um, <laughs> planner. This section is dedicated to lists and art supplies. A few pointers. So we have our index here. And then when you have blank pages, you can put your title and page numbers on this side. 
Can you see both sides of this? <laughs> so we have our list of um, art supply sources, a wish list, books, hashtags, podcasts, techniques, websites, and YouTube channels. I don't think the other ones had that. They may have, and I just don't remember. This one's always a good page to plan out birthdays for the year and give them different colors or different circles for your family members so you don't forget. <laughs> Highlights. Now look ahead to 20, ah, 22. And here's our cute little guy here, the little possum hanging. <laughs> and then you'll have the um, monthly calendars in this book. Grid paper, line paper, there's the dragon, February, it'll, it'll go through all the months, uh, I guess I could go through it, line paper, <laughs> grid paper, <laughs> butterfly, that's a beautiful picture, March, and then the little guy with the tail, <laughs> April, and each one of them has a cute little picture up here. I hope I'm showing that. The kangaroos. This one's got the, um, I just said this. Bamboo. Because it starts with B. Should drink some more tea this morning. <laughs> this little guy here. June. This is the caterpillar. <laughs> and there he is. This one's going to be the little lizard in July. And there he is. Say, I really like the size of this one. It's really nice. I guess just got the little picture down here. And she's included some uh, little days up here too, which is nice. So you have to look them up, but don't want to miss the picture. Go on and miss the picture. Oh, there we go. It's a spider. Ooh. <laughs> September. It's going to be the squirrel. <laughs> there he is. He looks like he's so in trouble with the birds. <laughs> oh, we got a little owl poking up here in October. So we have the little owl in a tree. That's cute. Okay, November, we're going to have the elephant. I'll scoot this over just a bit getting a little bigger. So here we have the elephant. In December, we're going to have the little wolf or puppy here. Yeah, jumping over the moon. That'd be pretty done in blues. Okay, so that section is all calendar planning and uh, taking notes, anything you need to do. And then we have this section where you can put your art supply resources, say where you buy your um, supplies, your pencils, your pens, your inks, in case you need to refill anything or replace anything. Wish list, we all have that. Books, pencils, <laughs> other uh, art supplies, we've got the hashtags. So if you are doing a color along, you can put your hashtags in here. They are the um, ones that are, are on Instagram. We'll say if you're posting a picture on Instagram too, you can also put down the hashtags you use mostly. So you can have a reference of that too. Podcasts that you are listening to or the person that does them, uh, if they come on a weekly schedule. Some do. I don't 
I get to listen to too many of those uh, techniques. Websites. YouTube channels. Yeah, I had a lot. I hope she has a lot of spaces in here for that. <laughs> Yay. Okay. This is the creative planner part. We got our dragon on black. Ooh, that'll be pretty. We can do that all in gel pen or watercolor. Uh, it'll crinkle the page, but I like crinkles, so I would probably do it that way. So we have this uh, sun, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, I forgot what section this was. I have to go back and read it. Creative planner. So we have little uh, boxes here, and you can write down what you need to do. Check it off when it's done. You get a bunch of these pages. Then you have plain pages. If you do journaling, you can do some journaling in here. Oh, aren't we pretty? We're on a gate. That's pretty, pretty, pretty bird. Uh, so you'll have a whole bunch of paper. So the box checkpoints, the regular ones, line paper. And then a piece of grid and, oh, the pretty horse. I've seen this one done, too. If you go to um, Susan's Facebook group, you can see a lot of people do these pictures, and they're gorgeous. There's the puppy with the bird. <laughs> the boxed paper line paper. You can put your pencil combinations in here. You can do a doodle. I like this page too. The orchids, it's really pretty. Paper. And then I've got a butterfly on this one. Oh, froggy. So cute. <laughs> Save a frog. <laughs> Can we have some, uh, I was going to say bees, but, hmm, they could be beetles, like ladybugs. They got little round bodies. Bigger wings, though. Okay, and then we came to the end of the book, and on the end of the book, you can see her other books she has. The um, Art Journal Number 1, The Oceanary, Ocean Imaginary, Insect Imaginary, <laughs> Art Journal Number 2, and the Big Book of Color Charts. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, and back. Oh, isn't he done well? That is pretty. So that is the new Creative Companion 2021. Awesome. And then the other thing that she sent me is the Insect Imaginary. I will uh, open this one um, if I can. Scissors come in handy here. <laughs> and we'll do a flip through this one too. We'll go through the back here first. Look at those beautiful pictures. Okay, these are people that um, colored their pictures for her. So this is Betty. She did the um, other picture I talked about. Isn't she? I mean, they're all gorgeous, but they do such wonderful job on all these pictures. So you have uh, Paula, Laura, Lisa, Paula again, Laura, Stephanie, Sherry, Karen Spencer, and um, Betty. Okay, I'm going to do a quick flip through here, too. Just move this out of the way. So we have a whole bunch of different little bugs here. Here's a ladybug. 
cute page. You get your please do, please do not pay information that you can uh, read. She doesn't want you to obviously send off copies of this, but you can copy pages for your personal use only. I want to post them online. Oh, I've done this one in the um, big book of color charts, the little ladybugs. Can you see both pages here? I don't know can't see up there. So here you have a um, complete list of all the pages in here, the pictures. As she calls them plates. So 1 through 26. Okay, so you have your introduction here. Before you get started, information on the artists and um, workers in the book. You also have uh, about this book information. A few tips. I was just reading. Sorry. Oh, cute little bug. <laughs> the honeycomb bees. And then you get the big picture here. You get a little section here and a piece of um, lined section. Say you wanted to color these in and you had a special color combination. You can put it down over here. Flower combination over here. Bees, colors, anything you want to write or just something that you felt while you were doing the picture. You can journal a piece of that too. Which is neat. It's one of the nice things about all her books. And then um, of course this is the black part of the page here. So you can write down if you colored it and you wanted to give it off, you know, what time, what date, that kind of information. So if you did this at the beginning of the year and the one at the end of, at the end of the year, you can also see how your art has changed. <laughs> this is little beetles. Look at him. He's so cute. And then he has little portions here. And again, the information you can write down. And he's also on a black page, so you can you can do this outlining on the white with your bright uh, gel pens. You can paint in between here with um, fluorescent watercolors. You can use metallics. I've used um, distress ink, colored pencils on black, and then of course the chart back here. We've got our dragonflies. And that's that big picture. And we've got the nice little bookmark on this side. Ah, uh, mantis. With the big sun coming out. <laughs> yeah, okay. And here we have, I like how she tells you what they are. <laughs> so we have our moths here. Oh, aren't they pretty? That'd be a pretty page all done up. Got your beetle. And again on the black. And we have a little dude. Oh, and he's on a page with kind of a nice little framework there. Art Nouveau type thing. And our little caterpillar. <laughs> he's so cute. The skimmer. In the fronds of a, they curl out. I can't remember what those are called. I have them growing in my backyard. <laughs> Another beetle. The three little boxes. You say if you did the wing in a different color, you could color it here and then right across from it to say what colors you used. 
that's pretty. I know there's a page here. <laughs> this is going to be a butterfly. And he's right here. And a bunch of um, these mung, um, mushrooms or fungus. There's fungus down here. That would be pretty colored up. Let's back it up. <laughs> I call them dragonflies. She calls them uh, streamers. Get the page. Move another beetle. Nice big skinny one. All those different things to color on them. And black page. Then we got their orchid bumblebees. <laughs> That's cute. So we've got three bees on that page. And the orchids. Orchids on this side too. Dragonfly. No page. There's a page. Good. There we go. <laughs> and then we have the beetles kind of in a mandala type. A big little guy back here. Luna. So yeah, we're in a Luna butterfly or Luna moth. It's pretty. And we have a <laughs> chrysalis. Little butterfly. <laughs> little, little, I'm sorry. It's not a butterfly. This is the butterfly over here, the little caterpillar. He's cute peeking up over the side here. So that's our, uh, our life cycle here. Oh, this one's pretty too. Well, they're all pretty. What am I saying? Getting towards the end here. Got a grasshopper. And then she has a, a color wheel on here. Um, it's where you just color it in so you always have it as a reference point use any of your pencils brands that you'd want and then blank color charts in the back and a cute little guy here her other books listed here <laughs> a little thank you oh he's a little heart how cute and then of course a page here that you can use as a um, practice on your mediums to see what will work inside the book without bleeding through. So there we go. Or just pictures. I'm going to have to look up on how to color those orchids. I don't know how to do those. So that's that book. So thank you, Susan, for sending these two extras. And thank you for these, too, because these are gorgeous. Peaky peaky. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with those. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video. Take care everyone. Bye now.